Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I told you how you can downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10 if you don't like Windows 11, if there's any software compatibility issue, or if your system is slow and you want to go back to Windows 10. And today I will tell you how you can secure your data seamlessly with automatic backup using the best free backup software. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. I want to secure my system C partition so that all my user data, software, and windows remain as they are, even if my system gets damaged or gets a virus. So first, I will download the backup software. For that, I will go to the browser and search for Minitool Shadow Maker, and from the search results, I will open the official Minitool website and then download the free version from here. Once the download is complete, I will open it, and I will get the Install Now screen. Here you can click on Custom Installation to change the installation path and language. As soon as I click Install Now, the software will start downloading and then installing. After the installation is complete, its subscription plans will open for both home and business use, but for now, I will close it and start the software. When I click Start Now, its interface will open in front of me, where I will get the Backup Source tab, which will show all my partitions that I can back up. Under the This PC tab, all my disks and their used space will be shown. Then, there will be the Last Backup, Next Backup, and finally the Available Restore Images tab. On the left side menu, I will get the options for Backup, Sync, Restore, Manage, Logs, and Tools. First, I will come to my main point, which is Backup. Here you will get two options, Source and Destination. I will go to Source, and here you can take a separate backup of folders and files so that only the folders or files you need are backed up. On the other hand, there is also an option for Disk and Partitions Backup. I want to back up Disk 1, where my Windows is installed and all my user data is stored, so I will select all the partitions and click OK. Then, I will select the destination where this backup will be stored. For this, I will select my Disk 3E partition and choose a folder. Always keep the backup on a separate hard drive or location, never on the same drive you are backing up, because if the hard drive ever gets corrupted, your backup will still be available. If you keep it on the same drive, the backup will also get corrupted along with the main data. After selecting the destination, if I go to Options, here you will get many options, such as what should be the backup method, sector by sector, or only use sectors, what should be the file size, what should be the compression level, comment, email notification, Excluding files. Shut down. After backup, the system will shut down automatically. Verify backup. Password protection. In the next tab, you will get the backup scheme, which includes full, incremental, and differential schemes, but you can only change this in the licensed version. In the next tab, you will get the backup schedule, where you can set the backup to run automatically daily, weekly, or monthly, and this is completely free. So I will leave it off for now and start the backup. It will keep running in the background, and you can see the progress under Manage, how much percentage is completed. Now, if I go to Sync here too, I will get Source and Destination. After selecting the source, you can choose the folder you want to sync. For example, I will select my Videos folder, click OK, and then select an external hard drive as the destination. If I sync them, it will create an exact copy of the source files in the destination for safety. If I go to Sync Options, here you will see Comparison, meaning before syncing, the software will compare what changes have been made. Only if there are changes will it sync the files. Here, you also get the Schedule option, so the purpose of Sync is different. And if I go to Destination again, here I also get the Share option, meaning you can keep the synced folder or files on the network by entering the IP, username, and password. That's the benefit of Sync. After this, we get the Restore option, where all our backups are listed, and we can restore them. But if I go to Manage right now, my backup is still in progress. After this, we get the Logs tab, where we can see which tasks have been completed and which have failed. Then if I go to Tools, here I get many options, such as Media Builder, Add Boot Menu, Dismount, Clone Disk, PXE, Remote, System Booster. If I go to Media Builder, here I get three options, ISO File, USB Option, CD option. I don't have a USB right now, so I will select ISO file. It will ask where to save it, so I will save it on the desktop with the name Shadow Maker. As soon as I click Save, it will start creating the ISO file, which can later be used to make a bootable USB for Shadow Maker. Once finished, the software will reopen, and in Manage, I can see that my backup is still running. 
Again, I will go to Tools, and here, the most useful option is Clone Disk. When I select it, it will ask which drive to clone. I will clone Disk 1 to an external hard drive, meaning the entire structure of Disk 1 will be copied exactly to the external hard drive via cloning. But when I click Start, it will say that this option is available in Shadowmaker Pro. Since I have a license key, I will copy and apply it. and my software will be registered. Now, when I start cloning, it will give a warning that all data on the target disk will be destroyed. I will click OK, and the cloning process will begin. This will take some time, and unlike the backup process, you cannot use the software during cloning. After the cloning process is complete, it will show a message. The cloning process has been completed successfully. Please shut down the system and disconnect either the original or the target hard drive. So I will click OK, and the system will shut down. Now, when I turn on the system, I will show you that the hard drive where I performed cloning is exactly the same as the original hard drive, with the same files and settings. Now, if I open the software and check the backup, the backup process is also complete. If I go to the Restore tab and try to restore all partitions, selecting Target Hard Drive 1, it will give a warning. Selected disk is a system disk, so we need to create a bootable disk of Shadowmaker to restore this backup. For that, I will go to Tools Greater Than Media Builder and open it. Here you will get the option to create a bootable USB. But if you don't have a USB, no problem. You can go to Tools Greater Than Add Boot Menu and add Shadowmaker's boot option so that the next time the system boots, Shadowmaker's option will also appear. After completion, I will restart my system. After restarting, the system will give an option for where to boot from. I will select Mini Tool Shadowmaker, and if it shows a display error, I will click OK, and the software will open. Now, if I go to the Restore tab, no restore point will be shown here. So I will go to Add Backup and choose the backup I saved. For example, I saved it on the E drive. After selecting it, I will restore it, choosing all partitions and selecting Disk 1 where the backup will be restored. When I click Start, the backup will start restoring. Once the process is complete, I will click Finish, close the software, and restart the system. Now, my windows will boot properly, and all files will be exactly as they were before the backup, meaning my backup was successful, and the restore process is also complete. So with this single software, you can secure your data, recover any data from a corrupted Windows using the pre-boot function, create an exact clone of any hard drive, HDD to SSD or vice versa. In the next video, I will tell you about downloading, installing, and activating Windows 10 Pro. So don't miss my next video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our channel. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.